What's up, everyone? This is Alda Destroyer 229 and welcome back to Let's Play Catherine. Last time, we got introduced to our protagonist, Vincent, as well as some of the troubles he's been dealing with, both in terms of nightmares and in terms of his girlfriend, Catherine. At this point, we are just checking our phone for different text messages. Although you might notice that we have another text message from the... Compared to when we ended the last episode. That's because I went to save. And then Vincent put away his phone and got like a quick... There was a quick section that happened where he was basically reminded of Catherine's uh, conversation about how long they had been together. And then I got a text and said, spam? So yeah, haven't checked these, haven't checked out these awards either. So, in this episode, we're gonna do both of those and see, well, where we go from here. So I guess first we should just check our text messages. Uh, let's see. I suppose we should just go from the bottom and then keep going up. So to all customers, about text messages, when you spend time in the stray sheep, that's the bar, you will receive text messages on your phone. You can even reply to some of these messages. Oh, okay, so this is actually, oh, that's not too dissimilar from Devil Summoner. Okay. Depending on how you reply, Vincent's feelings and those of the person he's writing to may change. Wow, that is like Devil Survivor. Okay. Uh, let's see. When you press the confirm button, a new line will be added to your reply. Press the cancel button to erase the last line, and press the confirm button again to write a different phrase in its place. Choose the words you want to reply with. Be honest with your choices. Okay. And I guess we get the first introduction to that with Catherine's text message. Let's see. Like I said before, I'm having dinner with some friends. It's surprising. Most of them are already married, and almost half of them have kids. They're all showing off pictures of their families, and it makes me feel left out. Maybe it's time for us to get out of our comfort zone, too. Okay, so we can reply. Let's see. Does it bother you? Let's see. You're overthinking it. Nah. Sorry, I can't think right now. Okay. So, yeah, there's a parent... We it's weird that it's not just like a straight up three different dialogue choices and instead it's just different replies like this. Although I suppose that would, I guess it makes sense from a cell phone perspective. Okay. Does it bother you? You're overthinking. I don't like that choice. Sorry, I can't think right now. I don't like that one either. So I guess does it bother you? I worry about it too sometimes. We should work at our own pace. Is this some kind of- No, definitely not that one. I guess I worry about it too sometimes. Maybe we should talk about this. Nah. We don't need to be constantly compi- No. No. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Nah. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should talk about this. Good night. Nah. Drive home safe. No. Yeah, I think showing a bit of concern would probably be wisest. Okay, so the full text message. Does it bother you? I worry about it too sometimes. Maybe we should talk about this. Drive home safe. Okay. This is a very interesting way to send a text message, but okay. Send this message. Yes. All right. Huh. Was that like a Paragon Renegade type of meter? Well, it seemed to go towards the blue, so I I guess we did good. Okay, so congratulations from Midnight Venus. By the 
way, I did not have an opportunity to talk about that person, but I just find it absolutely hilarious that basically the narrator of the game is Mir B's female alter ego. And I love that. All right, congratulations. You've successfully completed stage one, the underground cemetery. Go to awards from the cell phone to check your best score on stage one. Okay, and these are the awards. Hey! High score for stage one. Silver with a score of a little over 13,000. If you want to attempt this stage again, press the retry button. It's the image. Normal! Not bad! Again, considering that I died twice on the tutorial stage, I'll take a silver. I will definitely take a silver. Okay, and... Okay, and we can even check the outbox, which is interesting because... I mean, the other games don't really let you see what you send out, which is weird. Alright, but that seems to be everything. All right, so I'll go ahead and save again. That rotating rainbow thing, that looks very familiar. Is that like the, is that also part of the loading thing from Persona 4? Okay, yeah, saving just instantly puts Certain it away. Words and actions change Vincent's inner ideas. A meter will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember it. Is there any way to check that? <sighs> Bringing up her parents out of the blue? It's not like her. Ah, it's late. Thank goodness there was no consequence for preemptively saving before actually checking anything. Maybe they figured people would do that. I don't know. Wow. What the heck? Prison of Despair, first floor. First floor? Wait, these stages have different... Oh, great. Am I? Last night's dream? Again? What the hell? I was at the bar and this girl came in and then... Damn, I can't remember. What is going on? Well, no time to explain. Let's get moving. Okay. Oh, great. guy from last night? Boys, you're that guy from yesterday. Listen, watch out for the cracked blocks. They'll break after you step on them. Oh, great. Really? There are several types of blocks, such as cracked blocks and heavy blocks. Whenever you see a new block, proceed with caution. Great! Okay, uh, let's go ahead and pull that out. I'm guessing the heavy blocks are like those yellow blocks. You know you can hang from blocks, right? It's a really useful technique. 
Pretty sure I had to to complete the first stage. If there's nothing to stand on when you pull a block out, you'll hang from the edge. If you try to move to a space without a block, you'll hang as well. Try it out. From there, you can move around. It's a useful way to maneuver. Okay. All right, I got it. So that's at least one way to actually Wait, what the Wait. Oh, I can do this. I'm smart. At least I figured it out. Hey, pillow. Use the right stick to look around. If you're stuck, take a look around before moving on. I can actually... Right, I got it. Ah. Okay. Uh, well... Edge. Gonna have to make... Edge. Stairs. Edge. Okay. Well, In which case, I want to do there. that. Then pull that out. I can hear the clock tower. Or the bell, at the very least. Um. Crap. Um. I can do this. I have no idea what exactly. That was probably just a bonus. You can also push rows of blocks all at once, too. Wait, I can. Rows of blocks can be pushed together. There's no limit to how many blocks you can move at one time. Sweet! That's pretty nice! Right, I got it. When you touch a checkpoint, you'll start from there if you need to retry. If you come across one, be sure to tag it. Checkpoint! Okay, that is very convenient. Actually, do 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 do. Right, I got it. You've got Money. Good job. I'll see you at the landing. Everybody else is there too. Who's everyone? <laughs> okay, right, so it. grab all the money that I can. And wait, what? Oh. I see. I see. I see. I see. Edge. Edge. Wait, what? Um. Idea. 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 Wait, what the? Um, I can fix this. I can fix this. I can still fix this. Oh God. Oh crap. Okay, that actually still works surprisingly. Oh, no it didn't. But I can still fix this. I'm running out of time, but at least I made it. Woo! Wait, what? Oh. Well, I escaped, but that wasn't the door, so I'm guessing there's more to this. Okay. And multiplier, does it get me above 10? Yes! Silver medal again! This time I didn't die! Sweet! Not bad. Could have done better, but still not bad. Oh great, there's more. Looks like you survived. Who are you? A sheep? Do I look like a sheep? You're the sheep. Everybody here's a sheep but me. I recognize that voice. Who are you? Where the hell is this place? Wish I knew. One thing's for certain though. If we don't run, we're going to be killed. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. You'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way out. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe. It keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Just 
quit with all the dying stuff. I I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, 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 wait. You hurry too. Hey! Can't be serious. On the landings, you can save your progress and talk with the other sheep. Go on, talk to them. Okay, so this is almost like kind of a safe haven, I guess, for the time being. I can talk to these different souls that have been trapped here. Where am I? What's with all these damn sheep? That's all I want to know. Can you tell me anything? They told me to go up. But what's up there? Give me a break. Okay, the text also just scrolls on its own, so can I fix that? Let's see, camera control. No, there is no way to change that. Okay then, I guess I just keep talking. Damn it! I'm gonna survive, even if it means kicking off others. If you get in my way, I'll kick you off too. Jeez. Okay, remind me to not climb these things with you. If you don't run, you'll die. I gotta keep running. I can't die here. We'll team up to find a way out of here. I don't know you. I can't trust you. No. I'm not going with anyone. I've had it with people trying to trick me. Wow. Um, I know this is a dream and all, but jeez, these people are rude. Uh, uh, I don't want to die. Just calm down. Just calm down. Are you saying that to try to bring my guard down? I'm not falling for that. Everyone's just out to save themselves. Some asshole pushed me too. Next time, I'm gonna start shoving or I'll die. Interesting. So, my interactions with just even this. So, it's not just text messages, but even my general interactions with these sheep. That can also affect that my time. morality meter. I'm just gonna call it a morality meter. Rather than just calling it like a paragon meter or something. They're the key to survival. Okay. Maybe this will be useful. What about you? You want me to teach you the technique I found? Technique? Yes, tell me. Let's do it. All right. Remember, this is my technique. What technique? Allow me to explain the pyramid. Pyramid. Pull out the same pull, number of blocks. Pull out the, the same number of, number of blocks as the number of steps up. you mean to climb up. You'll have the support You'll you need, the support to, you need to reach higher, higher and higher, like a pyramid. Remember. What you think? Nice. Uh, mm, I think that might be tough by itself. Consider using this one too. Ooh, another technique. Sweet. Allow me to explain. The slider. The slider. Pull out two, Pull out two blocks, blocks vertically. And slide the bottom one over. Oh no, 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 they do talk. Remember this basic action, which utilizes the properties of edges. Since edges connect, you can make a stairway, even in tight spots. Okay, so... Okay, so you pull a block out, then you get on top of it, you pull another one out, and then you pull the other one to the side. Interesting. Oh, you're a genius. How was that? Bet you didn't know. I didn't know. Uh, well... Anyway, what I want to say is this. If you're relying on luck to keep you alive, it's all over. I know. My reporter's instincts are telling me this dangerous form of free climbing has some techniques hidden within it. There are many techniques to discover. I guess the key is to find as many as we can. All right. If you find anything, you tell me, okay? That's an order. Interesting. And also, reporter, so... That is something I'm going to have to keep in mind. See freedom. Oh, hey! I almost didn't what see the, you. What is this place? Why was I taken here? Same here. Wish I knew. What are those cages? Why are there sheep in them? I've had it. Get me out of here. Cages? What? Oh. Oh. Um. Wow, that's quite terrifying. Also, that's. I really hope he's just sleeping. Everyone dies eventually. 
attention. Okay, thank God. Dying sooner at least saves you some pain, right? Wow, he's just completely given up. Okay, and I can use that to save the game. Well, wait, have I not talked to you? No, I think I've talked to him. Why is it still in... Weird, maybe he has more to say. Everyone's just out to save themselves. Yeah, that, that was pretty much it. Okay, well... This is... Nightmarish and scary, but we're gonna go ahead and call it a day here. So, next time on Let's Play Catherine! Hey, it's an Atlas game, I can do the circle things. We're going to continue climbing up this tower. It's the only way that we can escape from this terrible nightmare. Although, seeing all these different souls, I guess would be one way of putting it. This certainly doesn't fill me with hope. But if we want to survive this, we're going to have to just keep on climbing. So until next time, everyone. Take care.